Nick Durant here with Tattoo University and there I am right there and today I'm going to talk about skin color and how it affects your tattoos and you get to enjoy some of the new computer graphics skills that I am practicing and learning about. Um, this proves that an old dog can learn new tricks. I believe that computer graphics are going to be the future of tattooing and they're going to help it out a lot. I find that when I do things on a computer, it makes things a lot faster. And when I come up with ideas and have a client sit down to come up with a concept for a tattoo, I find that it's just a lot quicker on a computer instead of drawing every single thing out and then redrawing it once you have to make a correction. So. I believe that computers will help out tattooing and that when you tattoo you always need to move forward and always need to learn new things your entire tattooing careers. For you to understand what I'm going to explain next, I need to explain how you tattoo the process of tattooing. When you tattoo, you leave pigment, the ink, in a person's skin. And a person has several layers to their skin. Your skin protects itself. It's made of these tiny little skin cells that are packed really tight together. And this is how your body protects itself from now these skin cells will fall off and they get damaged and they replace themselves. In order for us to leave a mark, we need to get past these skin cells and leave pigment underneath them. In order to do that, we use a needle and we cover that needle with pigment. So we have pigment in our tip, which gets on the needle. The needle goes into the skin and then leaves pigment behind. Now the problem with tattooing in this layer of skin is that it is too shallow. This skin right here, this layer will replace itself. These skin cells die off and they get replaced by the underlying layer. So if you leave your pigment in this first layer of skin, it will fall out and you will get a ghost image because most of the pigment will no longer be there once it heals. It's going to fall out. Your pigment's going to be in these little cells here that are no longer on your skin. If you want to tattoo correctly, you need to go to the correct layer and leave the pigment in that layer of skin. This is a more stable layer. It doesn't flake off like this top layer does. Over time you're gonna lose a little bit of this tattoo but if you tattoo into this layer it's gonna stay there for most of your life. You might need to get it touched up a little bit when it fades out, but it's going to be permanent unless you get it lasered out. Now, another problem is if you go too deep into this layer. This is a stable layer it doesn't move around as much. It's pretty solid. It's not going to go anywhere. 
but this layer underneath is not stable. When you put pigment into this layer, you get this effect. Your pigment will not stay compact and solid like this. Instead of getting a nice solid line, you get a fuzzy line because the pigment does not stay solid. It moves and you get this fuzz around this tattoo. So if you ask me why do I have a solid line with this fuzz around it, it's most likely that you went into this layer of skin and you tattooed too deep. If you ask me why did my tattoo fall out and it's solid, but I have a little ghost image. Then you tattooed too shallow. So now we know that our pigment, if tattooed correctly, is in this layer of skin. When you look at the tattoo, you look at it through this layer. It is underneath this layer of skin. Everyone who looks at your tattoo is looking through this layer of skin. It's like looking through a filter or a really thin piece of paper. This layer of skin and the pigment in this layer of skin will change how your tattoo looks. As a tattoo artist, you need to take that into consideration and be able to improvise and change how you tattoo depending on the person's skin tone, whether it's darker or lighter. Because that will affect how your tattoo looks and actually what people can see and what they can't see in your tattoo. So one of the things you have to consider is skin color. And I'm going to show you an example here of how skin color will affect your tattoo. To show you the difference here between the drawing and the actual tattoo, I'm going to use my dropper tool here and actually get this color from the skull and you can see it's a gray color. And if I pick up, and the reason why I'm getting it from the skull right there is because there is no shading in here, right in this area. This should just be skin tone. So the skull on the drawing would be this color and then the skull in real life in the tattoo would be this color, the color of the person's skin tone. So you have to take that into account when you are doing tattoos. And this person did a pretty good job on this. Um, certain colors will change if you are doing them on someone with darker skin. So a lot of times if you use a white or a blue, it'll turn like a greenish color. So you want to stick to certain colors that won't look really weird when they're healed. So reds, blues, greens, these are all good colors to use. So this person has some experience here tattooing on darker skin. So some people have lighter skin and darker skin. I have a couple of skin tones already loaded in here. And what happens 
So here we have a grayscale from dark to light. If you're tattooing, these would be your shadows to your highlights here. And you can see that this one's split up, segmented. And we also have this one here that is a gradient from dark to light. Now look what happens when we put a layer of color on top of those. See how you lose a little bit of that crispness? See how it kind of makes it a little harder to see the differences there? So that would be a lighter skin color. Let's do this now with a darker skin color. You can see that this, you can see that the darker we go here, the harder it is to see these segments, even if I crank this up, eventually it just turns into a blur. You can see the segments here as we go up and get darker. This whole section here almost looks the same. And then this section looks the same and then you have your dark. Instead of having six sections, seven sections actually because there should be a white right here you break it down into three. You have dark, medium, and light because you lose that the darker you go. So let me show you with this grayscale here. So let's look at this grayscale that's a little more smoother gradient here and let's throw our skin tones in on top of that and see what that looks like. Here we have a lighter skin tone and then we're going to get darker here. Here you can see how smooth it is you can see even up to here where it's really light but look as but look what happens when we start to get darker you kind of lose this area in here you can still see this area still see this area but you're losing these lighter areas and this is what you need to consider when you're tattooing because if you are working in these really light areas on darker skin, you're not even going to see it there. So if you're doing lighter skins, it's really easy to feather this gray out really smoothly and get this really smooth effect here and take it all the way out to your lightest gray because you're going to see that a lot easier. But if you go with a darker skin tone, you're wasting your time when you're doing that. So you really need to bump up the contrast here. You really need to go from dark to medium to light instead of trying to feather that out. You really want to bump up the contrast in any tattoo to make your tattoo stand out. Especially with dark skin, this is important. But on every tattoo, if you really want to make it stand out, you can't do all these tattoos with this medium gray. And it kills me when I see all these tattoos and they're all done in this medium gray to show shading. There's no dark to light. Everything's kind of just shaded with a medium gray. So let me show you how you can do this on a tattoo. 
So in darker skin, you really need to use contrast. And if you just want your tattoos to really stand out in general, you need to up the contrast. And this tattoo is a good example of that. There are several ways to get really good contrast. And that is if you use light. So in this case, your background is light and your main subject here is darker. So you have light to dark. That is one way to contrast, or you could switch this around. If the rose was lighter, you could do a darker background, light to dark. You also have complementary colors, which are red and green, blue and orange, purple and yellow. Colors that make the other colors stand out a little bit better. So that's another way you could do that. Just the design itself, if you have a lot of squiggly lines and you put it right next to a lot of straight lines, that could give you a good contrast. And you also can use, you know, your shading techniques and your highlights to bump up your contrast a lot. So he did a pretty good job on this tattoo. You can see right in here that he went really dark. And then at the tips of the petals here, there's a little highlight. Now you don't want to blast a bunch of white into a tattoo. You want to be a little reserved with the white. So you just put the white around the tips. You go from dark, dark, black to white to get that contrast here. Because of the color of the skin, he picked really good colors. And he's got a lot of contrast in here. So if you're still here, you are either truly dedicated to the art of tattooing and you watch the entire video to make sure you didn't miss a single thing, or you got bored of hearing me talk and you skipped to the end of the video looking for some good information. Either way, I have you here and I want you to visit a website called Gawkbox. It is free and it is easy. You can even do it on your smartphone. Visit the website Gawkbox and then sign in and go to the Tattoo University profile. And from there, it's just gonna ask you to play some games. Which a lot of you are gonna be playing some games on your phone anyways. So this is a good way for you to help out Tattoo University. What you will see is something that looks like this. And it's just gonna ask you to download and play some games for free and then it'll pay Tattoo University a percentage of the money. They have several games, racing games, fighting games, all kinds of different games you can play on there. And what that does is it gives Tattoo University a little bit of money. And you might say, what are you gonna do with that money? Why do you need money? Well, the reason why we need money is because you guys have a lot of questions that need to be answered. We have the answers and we want to get those to you. So what you're doing here by going to Gawkbox is essentially for free, you are helping further your tattoo education. And that's pretty hard to do that anywhere else. So. When you help us out by visiting Gawkbox, we can help you out by answering your questions.